Hey everyone, welcome to a skill comparison between a Grand Champ and a Platinum player. Um, the Grand Champ in this video, his name is Dominic, he has 2700 hours in the game. I, Chili, am the Plat 2 at 450 hours in the game at the time of this recording. We're going to be doing a 1v1 to see how much better the average Grand Champ is compared to a Plat player. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce you. Uh, this is Dominic. He is a, he is a Grand Champ. How many hours do you have in this game? Um, probably a combined total of all account, 2,700. But considering it's Rocket League, not that much. Okay. Uh, I have, I think I just hit like 400 hours in the game. Uh, I'm Platinum. I think you um, can already tell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, the medium for hitting Grand Champ keeps lower and lowering each season. I mean... Grand champ really, like 1500 is just champ 3 on a win streak. But uh, other than that, about the medium is around 1800 hours to hit uh, grand champ. Okay. Alright, so this is just a warm up game. We're going to be doing 1v1s. Ah! Yeah, we're going to be I doing that series of 1v1s and then maybe some more things. Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to ask you a couple questions, right? So, All right. what's it like being a Grand Champ? Um, well, it, it really depends, like, what part of Grand Champ. 1500, th there's really nothing to boast about. Me being a 1700, it's, um, it gets pretty tough. Like, the games start getting intense. The game, actually, in my opinion, is more fun, but the stress that goes into playing the game is so much higher to the point where it's just mentally exhausting at a point having to consistently play about six hours a day. And if you couldn't already tell, I'm pretty Canadian. A boat. A boat. Have you ever like played against any pros? Yes, I've probably played against most professionals. Oh, did Mainly you play against you. Rizzo? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I played oh. against Rizzo, JNAP, Crow. But after he left, you too. Dude, how are you so fast? That wasn't even, like, the fast kickoff, that was just... <laughs> Hello. Oh my... Like, do you, do you practice, yeah. or like, when you, when you used to practice, what did you practice? So, um, a lot of people, <clears throat> when they hit plat, they expect um, themselves to be able to hit flip resets, double touches, consistently. The thing is, I've always been that player who's had to play with my higher ranked friends, so I've always had to be kind of that support player. Yeah. Kind of having the game sense, knowing when to go and when not to, to the point where it hindered my ability to um, really be mechanically skilled, just for the fact that I never got a chance to really be on the ball a lot. So recently, being a very like skilled uh, position, like being very skilled, at positioning i've had to adapt to um now learning mechanics so my mechanics are a little bit behind but i definitely put around like two hours a day back okay. when i played a little more what kind of mechanics are you think are most important um it really depends if you're talking about offensive mechanics or just kind of just defensive to like something like a wave dash uh, something as simple as a wave dash can mean the difference. I actually missed that. Back to the ball. <laughs> and, um... I missed you it getting again. to the ball and... You not being able to get it. For example, like, this ball over here is being hit here. If I had just turned around, like... Maybe it'd be a little slower, but... Wave dashing like that, I can definitely get kind of the jump on the player. Because if okay. I'm doing a regular dribble, like... Here, let's see. I'm gonna bring this back and hopefully not score myself. So, for example, if I'm dribbling the ball here, I'm just kind of... You don't expect that big burst of speed coming out. It's also really good for rotating. Okay. It, it, it takes about half of the time of a flip, so if you can stick to wave dashes, then uh, you're gonna be going about twice as far as you would if you just double jump twice. Another would definitely be um, half flip, probably, oh, yeah, half. 
probably your second most used mechanic because I feel like you do wave dashing a little more to get momentum off the wall. Yeah. But it definitely needs to be used to turn around in almost less than half the time. It's just turning around. And it's a good way of keeping your momentum going backwards instead of uh, having to completely shift my momentum right here and try beating you for that ball. Instead, if I'm facing backwards, then I just shift my momentum backwards and all of a sudden, look, I, I'm dribbling the ball now. Okay. Double taps isn't any more a really hard mechanic. At this point, everyone's got pretty consistent at being able to hit double taps. And the thing is, it's a lot harder to hit a double tap now that everyone has such good backboard defense. Overall, uh, I feel like double taps are definitely good to learn. You don't even want to learn them just for flash, flashy plays. You just want to learn them because you need to learn how to read a ball off a wall like that. Be able to put it right back out where you can't get it. Overall, the defense has gotten a lot better. Yeah. So it, it's really hard to point out NA defense. I'm sure you, uh, being an Overwatch player. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now onto the video. All right. So here's the plan, right? We're gonna try. We're gonna one v one a couple of times, and we might go into like twos or threes together, maybe. All right. Um. My goal, because I know I can't beat you. I already know that. My goal is to get half of the goals that you get. Ooh. Um, I can. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Um, you know, I believe in you. All right. Uh, I'm gonna join blue team. All right. And so the battle between Grand Champ and Grand Plat is about to begin. Little did I know, I really suck at this game. That's a good kickoff. Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't even that good. It was just it was kind so of a weird thing. though. Yeah, wow. the 180 flick. Right here, I'm gonna create space by making you back off. Oh, nice. That's what one is, it's punishing. Oh, by the way, rule one of ones probably don't go up for stuff like aerials like that. Okay. As I break that rule. Okay. Is, um, you kind of let um, the opponent do whatever he, feel he feels like. And then you get to counter it. So oh if someone o over pushes for a ball, like goes for an like an aerial, yeah. and they hit your backboard, that's an instant goal for you, not on you for you. Ooh. There I'm we go. Easy. Hey, there you go. What would you and have done if I didn't hit that? Like, what do you think? Like, if you didn't hit it here? Actually, if I didn't hit it, would have gone on my goal? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Well, no, if you brought it into a triple, I'd have to play more defensive, either that or just go for a Hail Mary. Okay. But you want to try making as much distance as yourself as possible. Yeah. Like right now, I could hit it like right over you right now. And you have to play defensive here. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I tried faking that. Tried forcing a 50 into your net. You shouldn't do this in a ones game. Oh my gosh! I don't think it's going in. It has spin. No, it's Ooh. going in. I want to bump you. Uh, now, do you think that was a good... Take control? Well, I mean, there's not much you could have done there, so that was kind of your only option. I'm going to go for something I shouldn't. Oh my... <laughs> I'll get I'll get the hang of this eventually. Yeah. See, I only need I only need to get one goal to catch up to you, I think. Eh, one and a half. So right here you don't have boost, so I know you're gonna try clearing it like that, but it just turns into a setup for me. If we think of ones as a game of keepway, I'm like that really fast athletic kid. You're the less <laughs> athletic kid. I'm the kid that gets picked like fourth. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Come on, I believe in you. Score. Oh! Yes! You scored! I did it! Grab this boost. I'm gonna go for the double tap. 
Oh no, oh my. Okay. Let's get kick off. See what I did there, like, I didn't have the boost to uh, really catch it, so I just did a pre flip. I'm gonna let you hit that. Oh! oh. Okay. Well, um, I let you hit it. Actually, but... wait, hold on. Let me, let me, I bet I can, I think I can flick on you. I think I can do it. Okay. <laughs> and flicks, flicks are very situational. Like if I let you flick right now, I'm facing into you. Whenever someone's flicking, you always want to be shadowing against them. Wait, I used all my base. Hold up. Yeah. So okay. if I position myself like this and you start dribbling, it's a lot easier for me to try countering it. Hey, what happened? But I mean, in that case, like, <laughs> that was just kind of stupid. <laughs> It's very situational. Yeah. Like, okay. You'll never usually get a flick when someone's looking at you. Because that's the hardest thing to defend. Like right now, if you just go in your net right now. And I have like full control over the ball. And I'm just like, boom. You never want to be looking into someone's flick. You always want to be like, you always want your butt. Yeah, you want to be like shadow defending, right? Yeah, because then it's easier to hit the ball. Because you're going exactly. with it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if I can... Yeet! Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, GG's. That was fun, that was fun. That's a goal on you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, once is pretty hard. My uh, my mental um, fortitude knows that, <laughs> kind of, I guess. Yeah. The um, kind of rule I have is your ones rank should at least be one rank, not division, but like a rank below um, what your rank in twos or threes is, your highest rank. Any yeah, so lower than that, you're not playing enough ones. I'm, a, I'm at about gold one for ones and plat two. Yeah, I, I'm GC and... Well, um, three of the playlists. No one, no one plays like I solo, solo standard. It's the dark side of Rocket League. It's like the dark web of Rocket League. <laughs> so right here, I'm just gonna kind of create space, and now I'm able to pass back to you. Oh, okay, whatever. I, I'm creating more space. I'm looking intimidating. I have control of the ball. I'm gonna go for the pump on him if I can. Yeah, there's not much he can do here, so your best bet, not to go on the wall, but to expect where that ball is going to bounce. Sorry, I kind of cut there. Oh, no, Two is just kind of situational ball chasing. And to be fair, that's every mode. Oh, he's not shooting that. We're fine. He's going for the demo oh, on you, so I'm definitely going to go in front of you here, because I know you're going to get demoed. As soon as I see where he's going, I'm like, yep. This guy's ball chasing, but that leaves his team in a really bad spot where I can do some something like that and get past him. Now they're on the defense. I'm going to let him hit it here because I can't beat him. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, big thanks to Dominic for being in the video. I appreciate it. If you want some free Rocky League coaching, Dominic does some coaching. I will link his email in the description. Just go ahead and send him an email. Say, hey, I want to coach. When I want coaching sessions. When can I set up a time? And he'll set you up. Uh, I have a special code. Use code CHILLY for 10% off for your next coaching session. Uh, be on the lookout for some fresh content on Wednesday. I think it's going to be Civ 6, but it might be something else. Who knows? Uh, see you on the next one, and peace out.